Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thanks so much for stopping by. Definitely take a look around. Let me know what you think. Today we're going to be talking about the Eminence and Shadow Master of Garden, a brand new gotcha game. It's not a turn-based, it's more real-time, but it is very, very cool, and... Once I started playing the game, it actually changed my mind on how I wanted to do this video. So we're going to go ahead and dive into it because I'm having a lot of fun. But first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest in mobile gaming, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. Let's go ahead and jump into this game. I've got a new format I'm playing around with, really trying to show these new games that have come out in a shorter period of time rather than 10, 15-minute videos. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the characters, we're going to talk about combat, game modes, and of course, we're going to follow up with some summons at the end. I was going to do a certain type of video, just kind of show no commentary, just show the opening, the story, show some combat and summons and stuff like that. But as I was playing the game, I really enjoyed the game quite a bit. I like uh, the art. I like the story. It's pretty cool. The movies that they have in here are really cool to watch as well. So hopefully you enjoyed if you do decide to pick it up. But let's go ahead. Let's jump into the characters. I've got some pretty cool characters. This first one here, Rose right here, you get just through do doing normal missions and stuff. You can see under the double S, you can see the role. So she's a tank. This payback, these are hidden abilities that they have that you activate during combat. Now, combat. This this isn't a turn-based RPG. It's, it's more of kind of it's more of kind of an idle combat system, and that's really the only idle comparison I can make. I don't see any other idle components to this just yet. Uh, so it's really just the combat system. And I, you know what? I I like it. I think it's kind of cool how they have it set up. Uh, these abilities underneath here, as you rank up your different characters, they unlock these abilities. So at rank two. She will raise own defense by 30% for 10 seconds. These skills that they gain as you rank them up, um, they use just normally within combat. You don't choose which skills to use. It's, again, kind of like an idle game as far as the combat goes. Now, as you can see, it says rank one right there next to the double S. If I go to my next character here, I've got her at rank two, and she's got this first ability unlocked. Again, raises own uh, EVA by 30% for 10 seconds. This is activated just the game does it naturally through combat. So let's just take a look at some of these other characters. Oh, you can also see, just let me pop out here real quick. You can see she's got a green border. So the ones that have green borders, those are rank twos. So it's you can visually kind of take a look at that as well. So you can go ahead, just kind of take a look at what each one of these characters can do. Again, I like the artwork, your typical anime style. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, She's an attacker. Here's another attacker. You can see underneath the S, the sword. The different colors there are different elements. So some elements are stronger against others, where others are weak against some other type elements. So the typical rock, paper, scissors type format. Uh, so you have attackers, you have tanks, and then you have supports, which are represented by a cross, like you can see there. You can also awaken your characters. So as you go through the different missions, you can see uh, it says one right there. So I've awakened this character once, and it's unlocked some additional abilities. So pretty cool on the characters. Let's go ahead and jump into some combat so we can take a look at that. When you go into quests here, you have the main story, a main quest that just unfolds the story. The uh, Seven Shadows Chronicles, that's where you're going to be going in. Collect armor. As you're collecting the armors, you're going to rank up your characters, things like that. So you got material quests as well here. I don't have sanctuary or event quests unlocked. Got to really watch my tank, my tank on the front end. She has her, her ability that throws up a taunt, which is really cool, but she's going to lose a lot of health. Let's go ahead. You can actually take it down to a dot five. I don't know why you'd want to do that. All right, so my tank up at the front there, I can go ahead, if I click on this, like I said, you can see the ability and what it does. Now, as you work through the tutorial and stuff, it does give you quite a bit. Um, it tells you a lot, like these blue diamonds above the, above the enemies and stuff like that. That just means once those blue blue diamonds go away, that's the best time to attack. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Actually, we're doing really good here. Uh, we're going to do save, recover health for all allies last. We'll get the most off of that. Boom, goes up to 25%. It's going to heal all allies.
There we go. Now let's use our tank's ability, which is going to give her taunt. So she's going to take damage quickly. Granted, she has more hit points than everybody else, but here's my heal. I'll usually th throw the taunt up on my tank and do my heal right away just so we can make sure to top her health off. And here's a cool AoE attack that, that I'll do here in just a second. Here we go. Ah, uh, blue diamond was up, though. Yeah, but that's okay. Almost no health there. There we go. So as you can see, the combat, very reminiscent of your typical idle combat system. But the combo, the combo system in here, I think is really cool. Um, there will be where you, uh, times when you go up against a boss, the boss is going to flash red. So where it says reduce damage, you're going to want to save that for last so you can reduce the, the amount of damage your entire team takes. Because sometimes that, that boss special will just take your entire team out. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at, if we go da back to quests, no, sorry, versus. So as you work through the game, you're going to unlock the Bushin Festival. That is uh, PvP. I don't have Battle Royale unlocked just yet. And Armageddon, once you join a guild, you will unlock Armageddon. But right now, I am part of the guild, but I haven't entered. There's, gonna, there's a certain time frame where you need to go and you need to enter for that. So I haven't tried that, but that's a that's a guild versus guild game mode, which I think is pretty cool. If we go to quests, where I was before, so main quest, you got your seven shadows. Again, that's where you're going to spend most of your time. Your material quests here, you got a couple different hunts, your monster hunt and your bandit hunts, so you can get different types of resources. And then sanctuary and event quests, really not sure. Event quest is obviously your typical events and stuff, but not sure what sanctuary is. Um, I got to get through main quest, chapter four, part seven. Which, as you're running through that, your parts are right here. So, episode one is part one. Um, episode two is part two, so on and so forth. All right, so that's a game for you. Pretty cool. Again, I'm really liking it. I think the voice acting is great. I think the animation is great. The movies are awesome. Um, this guide thing up here, this guide, Mission 46, definitely make sure to follow that. Number one tip as a new player, just go ahead and follow that uh, and get all of your different rewards and everything like that. Again, that's where I got uh, this character right here. Uh, this first character, this SSR. I'm not using her because the tank that I got, I got lucky with this character here, um, and I really like her uh, her hidden her hidden ability, her special because it gives her taunt, which I think is really cool. Um, the other one does not. The other tank does not have that. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's do some summons. And um, I've been summoning on this, no, not on this banner, this banner right here. So we're going to go ahead and do that here. Uh, looks like we only have enough for a times 10, so we'll go ahead and do that. But I do, I think the summoning animation is very cool because it's very different. Um, and you'll see that here in just a second. You don't tap on anything or anything that I can tell, but look at this. There's two on each one, right? Boom, we got an SSR, very cool. But you don't know who you're going to get. You see all of these characters, but you don't know who they, uh, who you're going to get. Wow, that was a pretty good pull as far as, you know, the number of SRs and SSRs. But it seems like they battle. Boom. That one won, so that's who we get. Oh, sorry. Let's go ahead and click. And on your SSRs, they actually, they have an animated battle on screen. Very minor, but here comes the new challenger. What was that? I have not seen that before. That is really cool. That was cool. Oh, I see. So here's the battle. Oh, and is she the one on the ban? Is she the banner? She is. I think she is the one. First of seven, Alpha. That is very cool. So we went ahead. We got her. That one won. Oh, and as you rank up your characters, I forgot to mention this earlier, but you, you, your level is determined by your rank, which typically, I mean, we've seen that in other games, but your rank is determined by your collection power for that character. So as your, as your collection power increases, your power, your power for your individual characters increases, that's what allows you to level break, so to speak. 
All right, so that was pretty cool. I thought that was awesome. Um, so we got a new tank. We got a new attacker. Uh, two new tanks, actually. So we'll have to see how well they do. Uh, but let me show you. Let me just go back here super fast, show you what I'm talking about. So if I go to her right here. So right now, level seven, that's max until next level. So, oh, actually, no, I can go ahead and do it. If I go ahead and auto here, um, I can go to level eight, but then I have to hit power level 749 before I can go to the next lever level. So a little bit of a twist on the whole ranking system, which I think is cool. All right, there you go, Brady. That's what I had for you. Very cool game. They're doing a couple things a little bit different. I like the summoning thing. Um, I like the combo system for for the combat system overall. A little bit of a twist on the idle mechanic uh, combat system. So some pretty cool things here. Very interested in your thoughts. What do you think of this game? If you play the game, if you pick it up, or you just kind of give me your thoughts off of this video, definitely let me know. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.